What is up guys, it's Brad here with LEGO City update number 7. I started rebuilding my LEGO City earlier this year because I had some big ideas and some big changes I wanted to make. I've made 6 updates so far and I'm excited to bring you guys here with the 7th. Quick recap for those who missed update number 6, I've gone through the LEGO City and really started adding a lot of staging. This includes a lot of vehicles, tons of LEGO minifigures, and overall just a lot of life in the LEGO City trying to give it some purpose and a story. I also went and added the first of 2 subway stations here in the LEGO City. City. For those of you who missed the previous updates, I do have a Lego train that actually runs underneath the city here. So I'm going to have one subway station right over here, which is already built, and another subway station over here. You can see the remnants for the track are right here, and a lot of work needs to be done to get this subway station operational. I've also just purchased this Lego crane from the early 2000s, which I'm really excited about. I absolutely love this set and wanted to find a home somewhere in the Lego city, but I'm not entirely sure where. Other plans I have for the LEGO City that I may get to at some point in this update is redoing this LEGO Hospital. This was just something fun I started building, but then I realized it would be really cool to have a hospital in the city, and I think I could do a much nicer job, as well as repurposing this area over here. One of the things I really want to add to the city are more restaurants with more patios, rooftop patios, and a nightclub. So I thought it'd be really fun, and I've been thinking of fun new ideas of how I can integrate that here into the city. So we'll have to see with what I come up with. So I'll set the crane just off to the side here while I figure out where I want it in the Lego City. But first up, I want to take a stab at building the second subway station here on the other side of the city. So I've got the track all ready to go, and I just want to work on actually adding the features of it as well. It's been several months since I built this last one, so I'll have to do a little bit of a reconfiguring to see what exactly I did, but they definitely will not look the same, so I'm excited for that. So I got the first like iteration, I guess the first draft of the platform in. I just used a bunch of plates, and I've got a couple random supports here just holding it up, so that's good just to get the spacing and everything. I think this one's a little bit bigger than the other platform over here, and that's cool. I figured I'd use these profile bricks here, these masonry bricks uh, as the base just because it's a more unique color than just using the gray and I don't really have another of uh, the other colors obviously except the red but I've already used them there so I'm thinking I'm going to make pretty much the same style all the way down here and I think that'll be a good contrast I almost used blue bricks and then I realized that building is too blue to do that so I'm just going to work away on that now so I've started building the base here. I've got all the bricks out there and I really like how that looks. And I've actually started including some of the panels there as well, which is really awesome. So that looks quite nicely there. It's funny, some of the panels actually have stickers and stuff like that on the back of them from like Lego Friends sets. However, it's completely perfect because once it's in the city, you are not gonna see it whatsoever. So I'm gonna get the rest of the panels there and then put it back under the city and get it installed. While I work on the subway specifically, I want to give you kind of an update on the rest of the city. Most of the city is in pretty great shape right now and I don't need to do a lot to it. I think I want to work on the park area a little bit because that would be nice and also just tidy up the city, maybe move some of the cars around, maybe change the scenes and things like that. A lot of people will probably be wanting to know in the comments down below, like, will I be getting the new 2023 slash 2024 Lego modular building? That is the National History Museum. And originally I didn't want it, but I just recently saw it built at the Lego store and it's actually really nice. So I don't have any plans to get it quite yet, but I will probably get it at some point. And at that time, I will have to find some room for it here in my lego city but for now no plans to get it another thing i'll also need to do in this update is because it is now 2024 i will need to update the 2023 sign there i say that i'm not getting the modular building right now just because i like the way the city's looking and i have no idea where it might go if it would fit in the lego city or anything like that because as you guys can see the city is uh pretty packed right now so no idea if i got it where i would even find room for it Yes, I like that. Look at how nice and clean this looks. All right, there we go. I've got all the supports for the subway system in as well. I used the reddish brown bricks just because I didn't have any of the flesh color there, but I think it complements quite nicely. I made it so the train can actually come out of the, like, the tunnel there. It's getting a little caught up here, so I will have to do some rearranging there, but the train does come in there quite nicely, and it fits, and it's pretty stable. So happy with how that's going, of course. I'll send the train back in there. I'll do some adjustments there and then it's time to do the tile and the minifigures. For whatever reason there's actually a little bit less tile space in the other train station than there is this one so I won't be able to do all the same things. It'll be a little bit of a smaller station but it will definitely have one staircase and stuff like that and it will still look good and I'm happy that they don't look 
the exact same. I think that looks great. I also realized over here that I didn't actually continue with the tunnel of the Lego, uh, like the platform here as well, which I'm like, why didn't I not do that? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up as well. All right, so I've got the wall started here. Not sure why it's all buckled like that, kind of interesting, but I don't even know if I have enough of the one by two profile bricks in black here. I've got some of them here in the bin. I'll just use as many as I have and whatever I don't have, I'll just use one by two blacks because I know I will have lots of those and I'll have to find the arches here as well because again, I don't know how many of these that I actually have left in the collection. All right, so I continue the retaining wall all the way around the city here and it looks epic. It looks much more completed now than it did just a few minutes ago, which is great. So now I can redirect my attention back to the subway station and just finish up some of the little details on it for this video. So now all the tiles are in the subway station as well. So very, very happy with how that's looking. Originally, I wasn't gonna add any of the other details like I did to the subway station here, you know, the archways and things like that. But after looking at it, I feel like it looks a little bit too square without it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the inverted tiles there as well. There we go, that looks so much better. Whoops, you guys, there was actually a little bit of an issue with the Lego City. We actually had a collapsing of one of the subway stations. I'll explain fully how it happened in my vlog on the Brick Lover Vlogs channel. As you guys can see, I've got the first subway station just out of the Lego City here. This is what it looks like when it's not here in the city and I've actually got to put it back. It kind of just fell from the supports and the train even fell as well, but it's okay. I'll explain the full story in the vlog, but in the meantime, I want to add it back into the city and then start reworking on the staging for both this one and the one over here. Here's just a little bit of the staging I did in the subway station. I'm like gonna do some more about it probably in the next update, but this is what's happened so far. So I've got just a train conductor over here, an older gentleman walking up the stairs to leave the station. I've got a farmer who's playing some music for some money there. That's why he's got his cup. We've got a gentleman reading the news, just some random food there. We've got a parent and their kid waiting for the train. There's even a vendor selling hot dogs, which is kind of fun. And then here is somebody just refreshing at the subway station. They're giving it a little paint job. And there's even a bottle there, because if you've ever been to the Toronto TTC and our subway stations, you know there's bottles everywhere. I pretty much did a lot of the staging on this part in the last update, but because it broke and I had to redo it, here's a little bit more. We've got a lady there going up the stairs and exiting the subway. We've got a kid who's got his boombox. He's playing a little bit of money there. We've got a vending machine here, which I thought was really cool. Cool. And then there's just been a bread and carrots because random things, why not? I probably should have the farmer from the other side over on this side, but maybe he's trying to catch his train. We just got a transit control officer there. We've got a gentleman looking at the newspaper stand and somebody else drinking some coffee waiting for the train. And of course the train is not in the station yet. It is currently underneath the city, probably moving from that station all the way over to the other side. And I almost forgot, but we've got a welder down here as well. All right, so I have found a way to incorporate the crane into the Lego city, which I'm really happy about. All I needed to do was actually take off one of these supports right back here. You guys can see it. I actually just have it on the table here. This is all that had to pop off. I just take off these two parts, one plate, and it was good to go. So it actually looks pretty great back here. This is exactly where I want it. However, it's blocked pretty much by the fire station. So originally I was gonna put it here and just remove some of the flowers from the NCIS building. However, I'm gonna end up removing these ones instead uh, and putting the crane back just a little. So I'll just move the flowers and I'll move the sign and then move the crane back one. Or uh, not, because apparently there is a literal one stud difference between the police station and the fire station, so this doesn't actually fit, unless I knock out the windows of the NCIS building. Does it really look that much better there anyway? Yeah, yeah it does. Alright, so I did it, and I do have to say that does look much better. So I just popped the windows out. You guys will barely be even able to tell. I'll probably just add some construction gear and stuff like that and it'll be good to go. But now I can actually put a bunch of the flowers back on the other side of the NCIS building. And then I'll set up a little construction site down the street just so people know they're not allowed to walk on it. Because obviously there is a crane and some construction. I am so happy with how the crane's looking right now here in the Lego City. Like it looks awesome. So I've got the crane of course here. I've got it moving up the outhouse which is really fun. And then down here I've even got a little construction site. So. So I've added a few Lego minifigures, some more crane pieces, a bunch of fences. There's even a walkway for like the minifigures to still go to the NCIS building and the pet shop. Like I've thought of pretty much everything I needed, I think, to make this a decent construction site without disrupting the city too much. I can even go through and add a few more construction minifigures if I want to because I've got a whole bag of them right here. I've also got a bag of robbers and a bag of like fire and police minifigures. So I've got a minifigure for pretty much everything. And next up, I want to redo the sign here. It's not 2023 anymore. It 
it is 2024, so let's see how I'm able to build a, build a four. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go. Happy New Year! Woohoo! Well, yeah, I guess it's pretty over now. But the new 2024 sign is up in the LEGO City. I think it looks pretty good. Is it a little too... T yeah, it's a little too tall. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shrink it a little, but it looks good. There we go. I think that is more in line with the vibes of the city. Very happy with how that looks. And all right, you guys, that is all for now here in Lego City update number seven here in my Lego room. Very happy with the progress that I made on the city, especially in the last you know year and a bit, but especially in this video. So just as a recap of what I've done, I built a whole second subway station here in the Lego City with a bunch of staging, which I'm really excited about. I love how that looks. Of course, I added the crane back into the city as well which it was in the city but earlier in the update I took it out because I wanted a permanent spot for it it was just blocking the road for the last couple months so I'm glad that it has a permanent spot there as well and of course I updated tile square a little bit in the next update I want to just do a little bit more staging maybe move some things around make it look good add some more minifigures because you guys know I have a ton and then I also want to get rid of uh, what's over here at the park area this was like a summer fair and it is January now so it'll probably be like March by the time you guys see the next update but I want to do something there I want to work on the hospital or do something like that get maybe get rid of that construction site we'll have to see what the vibes are looking like but anyway you guys thank you so much for checking out today's lego city update i really hope you enjoyed you'll have to let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the update any suggestions comments or anything at all are always greatly appreciated anyway thanks again so much for watching and i'm looking forward to seeing you all here in the next video